the pain of falling short is nothing compared to the shame of stopping short. Think about that. The pain of falling short, so the pain of running after your goal for 2018 and falling short, it's painful, of course it is. But it is nothing compared to the shame of stopping short. What is up, everybody? Welcome to the Sales Wolves Podcast. I am your host, Tyler Harris, and I am a sales wolf. Ow! That's right. <laughs> Welcome to the Sales Wolves Podcast. This is episode 94, and this is going to be short and sweet. I want to talk to you about the fact that it is November 28th, and that means that we've got 33 days left in 2018. And I want to start just by asking you a question. How was 2018? Where are you at in working towards your goals in 2018? Number one, did you set goals? Did you set SMART goals? You've all heard the acronym SMART. But were they measurable, achievable? And where are you at based on what you set? So a couple things I want to talk about today, and the first is if you're behind. If you are behind in your goal for 2018, in your goals for 2018, 33 days left in the year. Now is not the time to let up. Now is not the time to throw in the towel and say, hey, you know what? Didn't hit my goal this year. Let's go ahead and start planning for 2019. But that's what a lot of people will do. You've got 33 days left. That is so much time to attack, to go after those goals that you set. And look, I get it. Like You may be so far off on your goal for 2018 that it's not possible, statistically, physically, whatever. It's not possible. I get that. But you can absolutely run after it like it is. I call that integrity. I call that integrity. Knowing that you can't hit it, knowing that it's probably not possible, but still putting maximum effort towards it anyways. And that does a couple of things. Not only does it benefit your family because that extra effort is probably gonna turn into income or probably gonna turn into future income, but it sets up 2019. It sets up momentum going into 2019 so that you can start off the year on a positive swing and not a negative. Because what I know is that if you do decide to throw in the towel, if you do decide to quit early, that it will affect how you get started next year. I love that quote, the, the pain of stopping short, let's see, the quote is, the pain of falling short is nothing compared to the shame of stopping short. Think about that. The pain of falling short, so the pain of running after your goal for 2018 and falling short, it's painful, of course it is. But it is nothing compared to the shame of stopping short. And that's an option that you have right now. Now, the second part as to why you need to run after that goal is the momentum that momentum will carry into next year so that you will start next year on an upward swing that you will start with the momentum of all the activity that you're putting in this December and it's irreplaceable. We all, especially salespeople, and I know there's so many salespeople that watch the Sales Wolves podcast, listen to the Sales Wolves podcast, we all know that feeling of January, especially us that are 1099, commission only, right? You know that feeling of, oh man, I gotta start over again. All those sales, those numbers hit, all those quotas met, all those goals reached or not reached, I gotta start over from zero. And it creates kind of this little bit of a, a sales hangover, if you will. Maybe it carries over from New Year's Eve into the January, and it takes a while to get your mojo back. It just does. But what can counter that is the momentum swing by putting in full effort in to the remaining 33 days we have left. Next thing I wanna discuss is those of you that have hit your goal, 
Number one, freaking congratulations. That's absolutely awesome. We're 33 days left in the year and you have hit your goal, maybe even surpassed it by a little by now. This is where you can absolutely lay the hammer down and keep crushing that goal. I can tell a whole lot about a person when they've hit their goal, exceeded their goal, and they've still got the pedal to the floor and are still attacking life every single day. And they're still trying to see what's possible. Because let's be honest, it's easy to let up once you've hit a goal. It's easy to climb that mountain and once you get to the top say, Whew, okay, now I, can, now I can relax. Now I can take these next 33 days and just chill out, uh, pat myself on the back, get refreshed and, and get ready for next year. But the difference it makes in the person that says, okay, I've, I've reached my goal. Obviously my goal wasn't high enough. Let's see what's possible. Let me see what I can accomplish over these next 33 days. So that way I know how to really set an audacious goal for 2019. So if that's you, number one, I applaud you. If that's you, you've hit your goal, congratulations. It's time to really see what you can make happen and really see what's possible. So there's two people, right? There's the one that, that hasn't hit your goal and you feel like it's hopeless, and there's the one that has hit your goal, but you can now see what's possible. The last thing that I'll mention is that the majority of people will overestimate what they can accomplish in a few months, but they'll underestimate what they can accomplish in, in this example, 33 days. You'll overestimate what you can accomplish in a few months, right? Like uh, a few months out, I got plenty of time, I can do all this stuff. But they'll underestimate what these 33 days can bring. They'll underestimate in the pendulum swing that can occur over these next 33 days. Do not be that person. Do not look at the remainder of this year and think, oh, well, we got Thanksgiving coming up. We got Christmas coming up. I mean, how much time is there really to go after these goals? Do not be that person. Take it day by day and win each day, which will enable you to win the week and then win this next month. And you can finish 2018 on a high note. You can finish this year on a high note. As I close, the only way that you can truly be off is by first be being on. And so you're right, we do have Thanksgiving coming up. By the time that this airs, we just had Thanksgiving. <laughs> I just caught myself. But we do have Christmas coming up. And of course you're gonna take time with your family. You should take time with your family. But what I know is there's a big difference between being present and being available. And if you do not take the time right now to go all in on your work, then you will not be able to be all off during these holidays. Why? Because you'll be thinking about all the things that you didn't do. You'll be thinking about those goals that you didn't hit. You'll be thinking about how you're behind. You'll be thinking about all the things that you need to do between Christmas and New Year's. You'll be thinking about all the stuff that was supposed to happen that may not have. And it does not give you the ability to relax. It does not give you the ability to genuinely give yourself that refresh that you need to go after it as soon as you get off of a holiday. And so I implore you to take that seriously, to take the time with your family seriously. And the only way to do that is by being all in so that you can be all off uh, when you're with them. So guys, this transcends just finishing a goal for the income. This has to do with your family. This has to do with your lifestyle. And that's, this has to do with the future and setting up for an incredible 2019. That's what I want for you. I want an incredible 2019, but I don't want to talk about 2018 like it's past tense. It is present. We do still have time left. And I love when people run as hard as they can until the whistle blows, regardless of what's on the scoreboard. Super important. I hope you guys take this advice and let me know what you are going to do in these next 33 days. Comment if you're seeing this on Facebook, if you're seeing this on Instagram. Leave a rating on iTunes. Leave a comment on YouTube. Let us know. What are you going to accomplish in the next month? 
We've got a whole month left in the year. A twelfth of the year is left. What are you going to accomplish? I would love to have a conversation with you regarding that. Guys, with that, this is episode 94 of the Sales Wills Podcast. As always, I'm your host, Tyler Harris. We'll see you next time. And I am a sales wolf. Ow!